Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Here it is. FBI's findings of Ford's claims against Kavanaugh. Dems don't want this out. Yesterday, the Senate Judiciary Committee Republicans released an executive summary of the FBI's confidential supplemental background investigation into Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. The Dems don't want the findings out there and key swing vote senators started reviewing it immediately. Today, there will be a key procedural vote to end debate on Kavanaugh's nomination. The summary of the report states that 10 people were interviewed in the FBI's investigation. They reached out to 11 people in total. The FBI focused exclusively on witnesses with potential first-hand knowledge of alleged sexual misconduct by Kavanaugh. The FBI provided to the Senate 12 detailed FD-302 reports summarizing their interviews with the witnesses as well as supporting materials cited by the witnesses during their interviews, the summary reads. Only senators and top aides are allowed to review the full report in a secure facility on Capitol Hill called the CIF, the Sensitive Compartmented Information Facility. The witness list did not contain any individuals connected to Julie Swetnick. She's the woman who made gang rape allegations against Kavanaugh and her credibility is nil. She is represented by anti-Trump lawyer Michael Avenatti of Stormy Daniels fame. The list did include Mark Judge, P.J. Smith, and Leland Kaiser, the three individuals Christine Blasey Ford claimed were present in the House when Kavanaugh allegedly threw her on a bed and sexually assaulted her sometime in the 1980s. All three of those individuals had already provided statements to the Judiciary Committee under penalty of felony denying any knowledge of the alleged assault. Kaiser is Ford's lifelong best friend and she has denied ever knowing Kavanaugh. When questioned about Kaiser's statement at last Thursday's hearing, Ford suggested Kaiser was having serious medical issues and had apologized for her denial. I think she has Kaiser confused with herself. More on the witnesses from Fox News. In a twist. Kaiser told FBI investigators that she felt pressured to clarify her original statement saying she was unaware of any incident involving Kavanaugh and Ford, according to a Wall Street Journal report. Kaiser, who later said she believed Ford even though she could not corroborate her story, told the investigators that she was urged to clarify her statement by Monica McLean, a former FBI agent, and friend of Ford's. Ford's ex-boyfriend told the Judiciary Committee that Ford had helped McLean prepare for a polygraph directly contradicting Ford's sworn testimony last Thursday. Judge was also questioned extensively about other allegations besides Ford's, according to the Judiciary Committee. Democrats had called for Senate Republicans to subpoena Judge, a longtime friend of Kavanaugh's so that they could question him about the nominee's drinking habits and high school yearbook references. Additionally, the FBI interviewed two individuals named in Kavanaugh's July 1, 1982 calendar entry which some observers said could have described the gathering where Ford was purportedly attacked. Those individuals were his longtime friend Christopher Garrett and Timothy Godet, whose house Kavanaugh visited for beers on July 1, according to his calendar. An attorney for one of those witnesses was also interviewed. Finally, the FBI interviewed Deborah Ramirez, the woman who claimed in an explosive New Yorker piece that Kavanaugh had exposed himself to her at a Yale party. The FBI also interviewed two alleged eyewitnesses identified by Ramirez and tried to interview a third, but that individual refused to cooperate. Agents also interviewed one of Ramirez's close friends from college. This is now the seventh time the FBI has investigated Judge Kavanaugh. If we made it 100, it would still not be good enough for the obstructionist Democrats. Donald J. Trump Now comes the part that the Democrats don't want out there even more. The supplemental background investigation confirms what the Senate Judiciary Committee concluded after its investigation, there is no corroboration of the allegations made by Dr. Ford or Ms. Ramirez, the Judiciary Committee Republicans wrote. There is no credible evidence that Kavanaugh is guilty of anything here. None. For several hours yesterday, senators on both sides of the political aisle filed in and out of the SIF to have a look at the FBI's latest investigative report into Brett Kavanaugh. It is the seventh one. They were not allowed to remove the report from the SIF period. Maine Republican Senator Susan Collins said that the Bureau's supplemental background probe appears to be a very thorough investigation. But she still has not committed one way or the other. Arizona Republican Senator Flake, who originally requested the FBI reopen its investigation into the sexual assault claims leveled against Kavanaugh by Ford, agreed with Collins' assessment. No new corroborative information came out of it, Flake said. Thus far, We've seen no new credible corroboration, no new corroboration at all. He also has not committed to backing Kavanaugh yet. The Democrats who had demanded the investigation now call it a sham and not anywhere near thorough enough. Presumably, 
because it did not go their way. President Trump has said the FBI had the authority to interview whoever they wanted, but Democrats have also alleged that the administration had meddled in the investigation. That's a load of crap. Well, that report, if that's an investigation, it's a bull. Investigation, Senator Bob Menendez, DNJ, told a man as he walked through the Capitol complex on Thursday. The reality is, that was not a full and thorough investigation. Typical and expected. I assume the FBI did not interview Ford because there is nothing new there. She saw fit to let the Washington Post have a look-see at her therapist's notes, but would not release them to the FBI. Her attorneys were adamant on that count. The Washington Post said Ford had shared a portion of her notes with their reporters, but under oath on Thursday, Ford said she could not recall whether she had actually done so, or merely described the notes. Right. Whereas many see Ford as a victim in all this, I do not. I think she knowingly cooked this up with the Democrats to sabotage Kavanaugh and Trump. Grassley has had it with all of this obstructionism nonsense from the left. Especially Ford's attorneys. Your response on behalf of your client is a non sequitur, Grassley wrote in the letter. It's not even clear to me what purpose turning over these materials to the FBI would accomplish. The FBI would simply turn over that evidence to the Senate. That is precisely the outcome I seek with this request. Furthermore, Grassley added, the U.S. Senate doesn't control the FBI. If you have an objection to how the FBI conducts its investigations, take it up with, FBI, Director, Christopher, Ray. He wrapped up by implying that Ford's attorneys weren't disclosing her therapist notes because they did not, in fact, back up her claims. Bravo. It's about time someone said that. A final vote on Kavanaugh should come on Saturday. I don't know about you, but I'll be glad when he's confirmed and this is over with. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.